I think it's really important to start out saying that there is an obvious difference between the statement that declares Black Lives Matter and the movement that um, you know puts each word in caps and then the political ideology that comes from some of the people in that movement. So I think it's important for us to make those distinctions. The next piece, obviously in my simple answer would be that statement is not racist. Um, in fact, we have examples throughout history and scripture where it's been very important for the saints of God to highlight the lives, the well-being of a group of people who mean nothing to culture, who are disposable to broader culture, to most citizens that we live around. And African Americans in the United States and in South America also, there have been countless, countless times where we've seen that black people don't matter to the future, to the forward movement of this country. They, they don't mean a thing in the structure of capitalism as it rests in the U.S. And I think even in our churches, we would be mistaken to say that black people have mattered in the founding of and the continuation of the church in the United States. In fact, the historic black church was formed out of a deep need for a safe space to worship God. I come from a denomination whose churches have in the past, and this was some time ago, but it was only 60 to 70 years ago, where churches looked at their black members and said, you have to wait to take communion. You're not welcome at this table. And in those moments, in those times, it becomes clear that living cultural normativity, specifically in our country, white normativity, was more important than living out the scripture, where we have clear direction about not withholding the Lord's Supper from any of the saints, about not showing preference. We have clear teaching about remembering the Hellenist widows, about remembering the good works even of a Samaritan. We have clear teaching about the Lord himself in his body reaching across dividing lines. And not only that, Jesus with his flesh tore down dividing walls. And if we are not doing that, and I mean specifically, if we are not saying to each other, your life matters, your life matters, then we are actually forgetting how to not lump everything in and to presume everything's okay. To get more specific, you have a lot of folks who think Black Lives Matter as a phrase is racist because it leaves out others. But the truth is, the church is a place where each phrase like Black Lives Matter, Latin Lives Matter, Native Lives Matter, they don't have to be changed. They don't have to be changed. They can all be seated in one space together. You can bring in the movement that supports education for women, and it can be side by side, if not in a harmonic dance with the Black Lives Matter movement in the church. And then we begin to see God's enriching mosaic that does us a greater service than painting everybody with a single brush. It actually does us the service of making a mosaic out of each of our important distinctive identities. I am not the only, I don't represent, I don't claim that the only thing we should do is to chant Black Lives Matter. But I am convinced that if all we do is chant all lives matter, then we're leaving somebody out. We're forgetting how God made someone. And I always say this, if Black Lives Matter truly is, I believe it to be one of the heart cries that comes from the church's new interpretation of make it, being made in the image of God. If I hear Black Lives Matter and I hear, oh, black people are made in the image of God, if that's where we start, then it might become more obvious to us that there are other places where we have failed to honor the image of God and other people. And we cannot fix our wrongs simply by saying, 
oh, we failed to honor Native lives, so let's just make sure all lives matter, all lives matter. Now we, we have the opportunity to name a very specific sin in the church's history and in our country's history. And it would be more to our detriment not to get specific. I think that if you believe that black people are equal, if you believe that justice and equity comes from not forcing people to assimilate to one culture, to assimilate to one race, if you believe that the church can truly be diverse, then it is racist to not say Black Lives Matter. It is racist to not uplift Native lives and those of the Hispanics that we forget and we despise so often. It is sexist to not get specific about how we treat women. We do ourselves a disservice in demanding the comfort of lumping us all into one because then we don't get to see how beautiful and how colorful we really are. The God who made a colorful creation on the face of this earth is the same God who made all of the native tribes and tongues and skin colors and languages and he rejoices in the creation that he made. And so I really, really believe that those of us who attempt to return all of the nations and tribes just to one lump of people are forgetting God's restorative work that will lead us to the mosaic of Revelation.